Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another out and about video for you guys today. I have a handful of different things planned to do. First stop of the day is over here in Burbank, California at Dark Delicacies. Uh, they're having their annual uh, Day of the Scream Queens and Kings, uh, which is like, you know, um, a little tiny mini convention that they have uh, in there with a lot of like, you know, uh, 80s, 90s, you know, horror movie actors and directors and different things like that. All really cool people. Uh, one of the stars of Night of the Comet's gonna be here, and the director and one of the stars of Chopping Mall is also gonna be in attendance today. And I've actually been talking to uh, one of the stars of uh, Night at the Comet on uh, Instagram and things, and uh, she already knows I'm coming on over uh, for a little chat with her and stuff, which is gonna be kind of cool. So let's head into Dark Delicacies right now and check out Day of the Scream Queens and Kings. All right, guys, as you can tell, Day of the Scream Queens and Kings is a, success, is a success. But check out this cool artwork they have right here for A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, this is really, really cool. Guys, I'm still over here at Dark Delicacies right now with the man himself, Jim Wynorski. How you doing, my man? I'm doing fine. How are you? For you guys who don't know, he directed such classics as Chopping Mall, Menchies, and uh, what was that one you did again with um, Jennifer Love Hewitt? You did two of them. It was Menchies. Menchies and uh, uh, Home for Christmas. Yeah, Home for Christmas. Oh, well, there's a different title for that one, isn't there? Little Miss Millions. Yeah, Little Miss Millions. That, that's what I was trying to go for. But uh, I just got to say, I really do enjoy your work. Uh, Thank you. What, what inspires you to, you know, go into the genre that you're in of, uh, you know, cult classics? I, I enjoy making movies, and I when I do a B movie, I don't have anybody over me saying, don't do that. Yeah, you get to, like, do it the way, do it the way you want to. Yes. Yeah, what, what is one of your favorite movies that... The next one. The next one? What's this new one you're working on? Can't tell you. You can't tell me? No, I can't tell you. It's always the next one that got my attention. Yeah, yeah. But uh, is there a website or any like social media sites people can follow you on? Facebook. Facebook? Yep. Make sure you guys check them out because me and him are friends on there. I'll have a link for it down below. Uh, thank you so much, Jim, for taking the time. You're welcome. I really do appreciate it, sir. You're welcome. Oh my God. Dude. Beautiful. I've never seen a... Like, what, is, is this like a... a this is a French. A French. A French. Yeah, a French poster. A French theater poster. This thing's humongous, dude. Isn't it great? It's so, so cool. So you brought this over for Adrian? I did, yeah. That's so bad, yeah, so dude. I have George Romero, I have uh, Tom Savini, and lastly I have Adrian Barbeau there. Oh, man. It's so cool. And Tom Atkins on there from Halloween 40th. Oh. He was the dad. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, but that, that poster is so sick. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Thank you. So, yeah, so cool. It's one of my prized possessions, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, be careful. You gotta, fold, you gotta fold that nicely. You don't wanna ruin it. And check this out, guys. We even got some Scream Queens right there taking a photo op together. We got some paparazzi. They're everywhere. Everyone, I'm now with the lovely Kelly Maroney right now. Of course, 80s icon from Chopping Mall, Night of the Comet, all sorts of really cool stuff. Girl, what you been up to lately? Um, well, I'm doing this show today for Dark Delicacies, mm -hmm. and I got a movie coming out called Exorcism at 60,000 Feet. Mm -hmm. and I go on uh, festivals called um, Blowing Up Everywhere, and then later on, I'm going to shoot a movie called Two Events. So I'm also working on my own pro developing my own projects, and finding things that you know are grabbing me, like oh yeah, the yeah. The horror community and the independent community are like never before. Yeah, I know. Well, we're like, we're like a tight-knit community. We're always kind of stick together. Like I, you know, I met you briefly through my friend Felissa Rose, and uh, that's it. I know. I, I like how, how close we are. Like with, with Dark Delicacies, they were clo going out, of, you know, closing, and now the horror community came together to save them. That's right. And I think that's Every just really cool. Idea, but for the people that don't know, you do have you have social media links and sites out there right now, like Instagram, Facebook. All those will be down below in the description box. But. If you guys are fans of hers and you guys would like to get like a video shout out, she's on Cameo. Uh -huh. So like if you guys go on there, she'll like give you like little personal messages and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go on and you can pick anybody. There's a lot of people on there. Yeah, yeah. And you pick the person that you want and, and they'll say whatever you want. Uh, birthday shout outs or, um, you know, um, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> any kind of thing. Like, you know, I, I've known about this site for a long time. It's like YouTubers on there, a bunch of really cool, uh, you know, different celebrities. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I got you actually really fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really cool. But make sure you guys check her out on Cameo. All those links will be down below. Say whatever you want, within reason. Yeah, within reason. She ain't gonna do anything weird. 
But thank you, Kelly. You're so cool. I, 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 I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. All right, guys. As you can tell, I'm outside of Dark Delicacies right now with the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Felcher right now. You guys may not know his face, but actually they might. Because you're usually the guy behind the camera, behind all the cool special features that are on like Arrow releases and Scream Factory releases. He's the main man behind Red Shirt Pictures. So how you doing, man? Doing good. How you been? Pretty well, man. I haven't seen you in a long time. Last time I saw you wow. were at like a Fangoria show or something. God, that would have been a long time ago. God, yeah. that's like 10 years ago. Yeah. More than that, maybe. That's hard to remember. Dude, like, back. I remember the, the one moment when I met you. I was, ta I was, I was talking to you about a, a TV show, a game show that you were on, oh, you know, way, way back in the day. Ultimate Film Fanatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was, that 15, was the shit. 15 years ago now. Yeah, I know. But they don't have shows like that for us nerds, dude, anymore. No, they really do. You would think with all the programming choices out there that they would. Yeah. But no, no, they don't. No, but but yeah, have you have any cool things you're working on lately for like new upcoming releases? Yes. Uh, or things that you can actually talk about maybe? I'm working on Hot Dog the Movie for uh, Synapse Films. Okay. That's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on, uh, just finished up Scared Stiff for Arrow. And I'm uh, working on a couple things for Screen Factory which I can't talk about unfortunately. No, no, that's okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of another thing. Yeah, there's other stuff but I don't know if I'm able to talk about it. There's two more Vestron titles coming. But it, 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 is, it must be really cool just to be a nerd in your shoes. Be able to like talk to and oh. like hang out with these people from these movies that we grew up watching as it you know, is. young oh, adults. It very, oh, it very much is. Yeah, yeah. it absolutely is. And I've uh, gotten to meet a lot of really great friends. and. Uh, I haven't been to LA in a while, so it's cool to actually drop by Dark Delicacies and uh, bump into some friends here. Uh, you know, Mick Garris just walked through. So. No, I know, yeah, he just, he just I, jumped in there. Yeah, I, I worked with Mick a bunch this past summer on the Critters Collection and Sleepwalker, so yeah. that was great to actually uh, go up to him and say, I don't need you for anything right now, Mick. I'm not, I don't need to occupy any more of your time. Yeah, no. But it's just really cool running into you, man. When I saw you, I kind of geeked out inside. Because, like, one of, the, one of the cool moments I had with you at, at the Fangoria show that always stuck with me uh, is when I was in line to meet George Romero. You were like, you were like, you know, his person at the table one, oh, one yeah, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was back when I was I, helping out the table a lot. Yeah, yeah. And you were just like, go ahead, go ahead. And I, I ended up getting, like, a cool free autograph and, like, a oh, picture with him and stuff. It was well, so cool. cool. And that's one, one thing I always remember, uh, you know, ab about you just being that. Yeah, you probably saved some money on that. Too. Can I have that back now? I'm, I could use it. <laughs> no, but Mike, you have a website you like to plug or anything? Oh, you, uh, redshirtpictures.com or just catch me up on Facebook. Yeah, you guys, make sure you check him out. I have his links down below, but he's the guy behind a lot of these special features that you see on these cool editions. Thanks, Mike, man. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Bow. Oh, yeah. And now the ladies are all together doing a big, you know, photo shoot over here. Still over here at Dark Delicacies. <laughs> we got Deborah Lamb. We also got Del uh, back here. Del. The main man behind. Deb and Del. We'll be going out on the road before long. Yeah, we are. <laughs> just, it's, it's always a party when you're over here at Dark Delicacies oh, and everything. But girl, what you been up to? Oh my god, I've been so freaking busy! You know what I'm surprised about though? What? Out of all the years me and you have been doing stuff, we never worked on a movie together. Well, we're going to have to rectify that, aren't we? Well, we're going to have to do something. Rectify! 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 Dick down, get, get down! Whoa, get hey! Down, hey. Get hey. down, get down! Jungle buggy! Yeah, but guys, make, jungle sure, buggy. Make, make sure you guys check her out on our social media okay, sites. Okay, I'll, I'll get you in something, I promise. Okay. I promise. Okay. Because uh, I like your voice. Where are you from? I'm from everywhere, girl. Where I, are you from, though? I'm from wherever you want me to be. Uh, oh, oh, I like that. Oh, she knows, oh, what, yeah. she knows what's up. I know what's hey, up. Hey, <laughs> where, where, girl, where's that, where's that hand at? <laughs> Whoa, 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 you have to touch it. Yo, you better watch out. Nice hey, oh, right whoa. Whoa. Oh. No, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I'm at the Deborah Lamb is my thing for Twitter and Instagram. Okay. And uh, my website is at my website is thedebralamb.com and my Facebook is well Deborah Lamb. And yeah. look me up on IMDb. Oh, I got a YouTube channel too. Oh, you do? Yeah, guess what it's under? What movie too? No, Deborah Lamb. Oh. It's, a it's girl. the Deborah Lamb. YouTube channel. Okay. I got lots of shit on there. Check out my shit. Yeah, you guys, make her. Yeah, check out her shit. Check out my shit. Yeah, check it out. Give it a smell. Well, everyone, getting out of uh, Dark Delicacies right now. Had a good old time, uh, you know, hanging out in there. It was talking to some friends and some really cool stars from movies I grew up watching and loving as a kid growing up and everything. But man, make sure you guys definitely check out Kelly Maroney on Cameo. Uh, she does some really cool personal messages uh, to her fans on there. 
I'll have a link down below to that. Make sure you guys show her some love. Really cool lady. But the video's not over yet, guys. Let's continue on and see what else I get into. All right, everyone. I'm at my next destination of the day. Golden Bearish out here in Burbank, California. But I'm not alone. I'm hanging out with a couple of fellows right now before I head on over to my next destination of the day. I'm with my homeboy, Anthony. We got Jacob and, of course, Aaron in the house. These guys, like, you know, sling dick all over town. Uh, all slingers. the Your slingers? Talk dogs. Sling slingers. Sling big cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Jay, dude, these look like tiny penises. Like, what yeah. do you? What is this? I don't know what happened. That looks like a large penis. Came out here with dicks. Yeah. yeah. Why did this video all of a sudden turn turn to cock for? It looks like a large penis to me, man. Those are tiny, really. Oh yeah, those, those, those are like Aaron size. Oh my god, I'm underestimating my. <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, guys, I just left uh, Golden Bearish with the boys. Just wanted to stop by, say hello to my friends because I knew they were in town. Got me a Subway sandwich. Well guys, I'm still heading on over to my next destination and everything. And I just came across this right here that I wanted to showcase to you guys. Cause usually you get like graffiti all over the all over the place, you know, at different places. But not like cool artwork like this. You know, you get Jason and Freddy, you know, going head to head up there. How kind of cool is that? And check this out. We get like a well, like a stormtrooper sort of thing, a Boba Fett or something. There's like all sorts of like different cool like art on this wall along with like random ass graffiti and shit. But look at this, man. We even get Michael fucking Myers right there with his knife and everything. Now this is like a pretty cool wall over here in Hollywood, baby, or North Hollywood or whatever. What, what is that from? Let me know in the comments. You guys know what that's from? Or is that just like a random creature or something? There's just all sorts of really cool artwork out here. I, I was just I was just walking by the street and I just saw this thing and I just had to come and like, you know, document this. Everyone, my next destination of the day is uh, the famous Circus Liquor. I gotta head on in there and get a couple of supplies, baby. Let's go. Ah, yoink, zero calories. Ah, some agua. Well guys, I'm in my next destination right now, the final destination of the night. Can anyone guess where I'm at? Can anyone guess? I'm at Mikey's house. 525,600 minutes. And we're about to watch Rent Live. Uh, it's going to be playing. Unfortunately, in... they put on Bob's Burgers. Yeah. It was showing Rent yeah. a little bit ago. Yeah, because like Rent is going to be having a live uh, performance uh, on Fox Television. The, at least they were filming this. You're probably seeing this video like a week after. But uh, I just came on over here because I'm a Rent head. He's a Rent head. He even has uh, Mark's scarf on. Right now, that I bought for like thirty-five dollars when we went to see Rent with Luna. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. So like, we're gonna be enjoying the show together. Probably singing like a couple of crazy people. So you may see some clips of us like you know singing and stuff. But guys, for you want for you guys who want to know, I ended up getting my chopping mall, uh, you know, Blu-ray signed by Kelly Maroney and of course the director uh, right here. And Kelly also signed my. Uh, Night of the Comet uh, Blu-ray right here. Super, super cool. Adding those to my autograph collections now. One song before the virus takes hold. Glory beyond the sunset. One song to remind this empty life. Time flies. And I don't need to endure anymore. Here comes Mimi. Light my candle! I ain't lighting your candle, boy. Oh, she's cute, too. She's good. I saw some of her performance. Stop. Not gonna lie, though, Rosario Dawson still my Mimi. I don't care what anyone says. He's a Rosario fan. April, it's out again. Sorry about your friend. Let's see, they're bringing some of the original cast members on, the movie cast members. That's 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 a like, you know, Anthony Rapp or something, and some of those guys. Ah, Anthony Rapp, he's right there he's on the left. left. Let's go. Twenty-five thousand six. Look at them all. Some of the oh, there he is, the guy from Flash too. Oh shit, they even have the, the original uh the girl Mimi. The, the original Collins. Yeah, that's what I meant. The original Collins from Flash. He's on Flash now. There's Anthony. Back to her. Hey, there, yeah. there she is! Adina Mitchell! Yeah. Adina Mitchell, let's go! Well, as you can see, we just got done watching Rent Live on Fox. And uh if you guys already know, me and Mikey are big rent heads. We just love 
you know, uh, this play, we're, we're play people to begin with. Like, I grew up being in plays, you know, in elementary school and high, in, well, junior high and stuff is pretty much when I kind of slowed down doing play stuff. But the very first play I ever did was with my mom called Scrooge back in the day. But we're not here to talk about this. We're here to talk about uh, Rent that we just saw. But, like, I, I wish I saw that. I, I only, the only time I ever saw the play live was with Mikey and Luna when, you know, we went to go see at the Pantages. But this one was a lot of fun. They did change uh, a couple of like ways they si they they sung some of the songs and said some of the lines of of, of this thing, which kind of threw me off at some points. But other other stuff was really right, you know, dead on. Like I really liked the la the girl lady that played Mimi. I think to me Vanessa Hussinger was kind of you know hit hit or miss for me. What do you think about Vanessa? Uh, just she tends to overact. Maybe it's because she came from Disney, mm -hmm. but uh, she can sing. Let's get that right. And the mm -hmm. costumes. They were pretty fun, uh, for the most part, but there was one costume, if you are watched it or you want to know about it, where she wore like a, a cow pants. Yeah, that was kind of and like it was just, a little much. Yeah, a little silly and whatever, but I, I liked enjoyed it. it. I enjoyed it too, but to this, you know, cut this short, we don't want to ramble all day talking about rent and stuff, because me, me and Mikey can do this, we can talk about this all day, and I know you guys saw us, and there's a quick clip. Of us singing and stuff, that's how kind of Celebrating how we... Celebrating the ending. You know, that no, that's kind of how we were, you know, watching this thing, you know... During the whole thing, three and a half hours! Yeah, we're like, we were sitting there, like, like sitting here watching it, singing along, because we know, we know all the songs and stuff. You know, don't judge us, we like what we like. Mikey, what, what would you give this one from, like, a zero to a ten? Again, on a rent scale, TV scale, movie scale... Just any uh, enjoyment scale. Boy, um, a ten? Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I saw it live on Fox. The sets were amazing. The studio that they built, they were, the cameras, I didn't know where they were. Yeah. The wardrobe was fantastic. One of the guys broke his foot. They still put on the show somehow. Mm. I, I mean, I loved it. I, and you came over, so mm -hmm. you made it a 10. I got to spend time with my good buddy. I loved it. This is going to be a memory I'm going to cherish forever. Mm. So I give it a 10, brother. Now, I'm going to have to give this one a 9, only because... You know, some of the things they changed in, in this, they kind of threw me off when we were trying to sing it. They kind of like, you know, threw in different things. But it's okay to change things up every once in a while. So I can't really hate them for that. But I'm going to give this one a 9 just because Vanessa Hutchins just kind of, I don't know, rubbed me the wrong way. It didn't look like she was really passionate about it. Even though she's performed this before in other, you know, facets. But I, I, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give this one a 9. But I always had fun hanging out with you, Mikey, man. Make sure you I give it a 10! Yeah, he did. A freaking 10! What, what movie is that from? Something. They'll know it. These yeah. people will know Let it. Let us know down below in the comments. But for you guys that are watching, follow Mikey on his social media. Links will be down below. Also also to his YouTube channels. And uh, when er, and, you know, earlier today, you guys saw me go to Dark Delicacies and talk to um, Kelly Maroney uh, from uh, Night of the Comet. If you guys, if you guys you know, get a, a cameo from her, let her know that you found the cameo site you know through me you know tell her that tell her that you saw her on my youtube channel that'd be kind of cool but me and mikey we'll see you guys everybody real quick i just want to thank you guys on behalf of brendan and wet movie for for supporting his channel this guy's an amazing dude mm. amazing heart good friend good personality great person thank you guys for supporting him yeah and, and if everyone and if it wasn't for all of you guys out there that watch these videos i wouldn't be able to to do some of the things like i have been doing like going to these different premieres talking to these different people getting you know i mean just going out there doing things you know what i mean like you guys you know by watching they inspire you to go out and, and wanna, meet these yeah people. i, I want to do more more stuff you know what i mean but i really do appreciate every single one of you guys and we'll see you guys all in the next one Bye. Wet movie cringe. You gotta love it.